Um, Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today we are trying out and doing kind of a Moxie Lash review. So I first purchased this Moxie Lash like months and months ago and it came with these little guys here and I was absolutely not pleased. In fact, normally I don't put comments below on products that Instagram makes me uh, buy, but I went ahead and put um, a comment out underneath this and forewarned ladies, do not purchase this because it doesn't work. These little eyelashes wouldn't stay on, like not at all. So I was really frustrated with this. Then I see that Moxie Lash comes out with a liquid liner and a little bit more dramatic eyelashes than these tiny little things and i was absolutely intrigued so once again instagram got me but this time moxie lash up their game with their liquid liner versus their pot liner and the eyelashes actually stay on all day so i have used these several times it was super windy outside and I could feel them fluttering kind of like a butterfly getting ready to take off my eye, but they didn't. They held on. So I was super, super excited that one of my eyelashes did not fly off into the DFW airport. Little concern, almost felt like it was going, but it held on. So <laughs> compared to when I had this guy that it I was just walking out of my house to go to work and the eyelashes popped off to this one actually withstands some heavy Dallas winds. I definitely would say um, I would repurchase this Moxie Lash Liquid Magnetic Eyeliner again, but not this one. Stay away from this one. Now in the video, you're going to hear me talk about what I do to make the eyeliner work better than if you just use this by itself. I don't believe that this is something that you can just use by itself and you'll kind of hear why in a little bit. So if you want to see how these babies do, you're in the right spot. Stay tuned. I went ahead and purchased the Mo Moxie Lash Liquid Magnetic Eyeliner and it came with some eyelashes which have far improved. So these little things that I got were a complete disappointment they were tiny and I have a lot longer eyelid. So these were like a joke. These things are absolutely gorgeous. So just want to let you guys know the Moxie Lash Cream Eyeliner. Don't waste your money on. And thank God they upgraded their eyelashes because these things were pitiful. You can use the Moxie Lash liquid eyeliner with other magnetic eyelashes so if you can get the tube which they don't sell the tube by itself they're very smart they'll sell it with this and the moxie lash you can actually get um, these are from amazon and they work fine also now i'll go ahead and show you how i've been using the moxie lash eyeliner because i don't really like how it feels when it goes on so I would recommend going ahead and using your normal eyeliner to start out the look or whichever look you're going for. The reason is that eyeliner tends to be chunky and it doesn't go on really smooth. So go ahead and start with a normal eyeliner of your choice. Once I have the eyeliner of choice in its spot, I'm going to still go ahead and curl my eyelashes like normal. Before I do my top coat mascara, I'll go ahead and apply the Moxie Lash Liquid Magnetic Eyeliner on top of the eyeliner I just put on. Now I will say the other reason why I like putting a regular eyeliner or cream eyeliner down first is this also feels very drying on top of your eyelid. I do like to have a, a cream eyeliner down on the bottom to kind of keep my eye a little bit more moisturized because this, after you wear this like two days in a row, man, your eyes really start to dry. 
The other downside to this wand is it's like it is one big plastic piece. It's not feathery like a normal brush. So I think that's another reason why it goes on a little bit clumpy is because you're not using a real brush. It's just, this is a plastic piece that's just one piece, which was kind of odd. But I'm guessing because maybe that's what helps with the magnetic bits in the eyeliner. But it's not real comfortable to put on like you, you would a normal eyeliner. So I think that's another reason why I just got irritated with messing with it trying to get the magnetic eyeliner to do what a regular eyeliner would. And it seems to get sticky in your own eyelashes. So, and I think that's just the clumpy bit or because the eyelash, the eyeliner brush is not normal. It's just that plastic piece. I don't know, it drives me insane though. So I still do kind of go through my normal routine with eyeliner and mascara and prep so that these sit better. Okay, so I've got two coats of mas my regular mascara on my regular eyes, and now we're ready to play with the Moxie lashes. I still use my tweezers for false eyelashes to apply these, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the original Moxie lashes, because these things are just pitiful. I mean, I'm so glad they upped their game, in fact, one of the little, I've only wore these for like less than an hour because they were popping off with the original formula and it's already lost a magnet. And these things only literally stayed on for less than an hour. And actually it looks like two magnets have come off, one including the end. So we'll just put this little guy back down and try to pull up its partner. So again, I think their first run with these magnetic eyelashes and the first run of the formula is just pitiful. So you can see that it goes on pretty easy, although it doesn't, I don't know, these little ones are, they just annoy me. I need a hush, they just annoy me. So now we'll look at the new improved Moxie lashes because they just fit me better. I just like how they look much better. So I'm going to put these things right next to each other so you can kind of see the difference in what you, what was the first run, so to speak, which is right here, these little bitty ones that I can't stand, and then now the new improved version. So absolutely glad Moxie Lash up their game because I was so mad when I got these and it lasted a whole less than an hour before they popped off. So these go on just really, really nice overall. Um, and they're, what I like about them is that they are full and long. Now, if you like the little stubby ones, then the first go around with Moxie Lash probably would have been more for you. But I really, really like how long and full and how easy they are to put on. So the liquid eyeliner does do a much, much better job than that cream eyeliner. I know, I keep saying it over and over again. So yeah, that's how quick it is to put on the false eyelashes. And so I absolutely love Moxie's new version of their eyelashes along with the eyeliner. My only bit again is the brush not so good it's not even a brush and it's kind of clumpy I have ordered a different type of eyeliner that is supposed to be magnetic also so we'll see how that one does because it's a little bit cheaper than the moxie lash so we'll see how it goes but this are the moxie lash okay so lashes. to retest or recreate the Dallas winds I brought in the hair dryer we're gonna see how well these things hold up to the different speeds. All right, so we've got speed one. The eyelashes are not moving. All right, let's get this up a level. Oh, I guess that's 
only two left. So you can see the eyelashes actually stay on really well with the magnetic eyeliner, which is pretty exciting. So if you ladies would like to try this, I would recommend again the Moxie Lash Liquid Magnetic Eyeliner. Hope this Thank helps so much for watching power. this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please don't waste your money on this little guy. Not worth it, but this one definitely is. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, make it a great day.